Please, the capsule to. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? Old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Back to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. All right, last thing. Helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right. The mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Okay, that's yeah, that's a big door. Wait till you see the rest of the place. Valve on the side there should pop it open. Looks like a lift. They must have used something like this to get all my stuff down. Better not have broken anything. darker in here than it is out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you. 
unit trench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it. that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim. Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the Pentelnecks put it through more stress than you ever will. Okay, um... Another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Why walk when you can swim? Why walk when you can swim? Have a look over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oxygen sticks. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In-suit oxygen resupply. You have no idea how much of a headache those things were to get working. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. Job's a good one. Head on through to the garage. Getting a little claustrophobic in here. Wait, are you telling me they haven't put the wallpaper up? of the Unitrench fleet. Really? No, she's a piece of junk. But good enough for the likes of you. Really helps the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kid. Now you're a fully qualified Unitrench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. We'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. A couple of buttons on each side there. We you know the drill. into something. 
green across the board. Looks like we're good. Well, all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation.